What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. Oh, and happy Mother's Day to the mothers that watch. Um, this video is entitled She Doesn't Like Being Number Two. Inspired by I was watching Black Lightning and the daughter said something that made me think back to my very, my very first girlfriend. The daughter in Black Lightning told her mother that she didn't like being number two because Black Lightning's character, his wife, he was married to his wife, but what was number one was his need to save the world, That was which is his purpose. And the mother was always un started undermining Black Lightning because she wanted him to herself. And she didn't want to play second fiddle to his purpose. And I remember this because when I, my very first girlfriend, um, one of the reasons that we broke up even as children, as kid, teenagers, very first high school girlfriend or whatever, is because she said, you know, I'll never be number one in your life. Because I had a purpose, I had ambitions, I had goals. And I wanted to achieve them, so that was my number one priority. And I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? For the issues that a lot of men have and a lot of relationship problems, I think re revolve around part of this ideology where a man is faithful to his purpose and his dreams first. And then his woman becomes second. And I think um, because he, he, he puts his, his purpose first, she wants to be first. So she's always a mistress to his purpose. And you find uh, the animosity that's created is with men and women sometimes is that these women sabotage these guys' purpose because they want to be number one. And if they're successful at doing it, in some ways, you, you some guys will be broken and they have nowhere to go else but to their woman. But most men take that as, a, uh, as an act of an enemy and they find themselves uh, walking away from these women and never coming back because you, you're going to, as children, we find our purpose or teenagers, we find our purpose. So we find our purpose before we find our woman. So in some aspects, we are married to that purpose, you know, even before we get in a marriage with a wife. So, if she can't take your purpose, that's a problem. And I think about it in, in the sense that one of the things that people talk about is men say, you know, when I was, when I was chasing my purpose, um, I wasn't wanted. Now, when I've achieved my purpose or got success for my purpose not everybody wants me and you know in a situation like that you're achieving your purpose and becoming successful in your purpose she can't argue with your lifestyle but if you're on the road to success she might feel like she's more important than your success or your purpose because she can't reap the benefits of a success that she hasn't seen. So she'll undermine it at every chance. And I think this creates a very, very big problem between men and women because you can't kill a man's dreams and expect that, that same man to love you. And, you know, I'll put it in reverse. Like a lot of ladies say, you know, they want to get their education and, that means a lot to them. Well, if your education was your purpose and your boyfriend 
got you kicked out of school so you could spend more time with him? Would you still want to be with him after that? Absolutely not. But this is the uh, the normal protocol that is going on in these relationships with these men and women. Women feel like they could basically get you kicked out of school when you're trying to graduate so you can spend more time with them. And, and then think, oh, now that it's all over, you could come come lay with me. You don't want to. You know, um, it's a problem. A very, very big problem. You know, you... you and this is where we talk about femininity and, 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 and hitting the wall and all of that stuff and the wall of silence is because this is all intertwined in this. Like, if you want to build a old man that protects and provides, that's a man who puts his purpose first. See, you can't, you can't, you, you can't protect, provide, and build off of putting your woman above your purpose. Love don't pay the bills. And though women say that and understand that part, um, they don't understand being number two to that. You know? And you, you can see, like, if, if the destructive behavior... When a woman's put number two by, with another woman, they, you know, they feel like they could tear your stuff up and key your car, burn your house down, get you locked up, and y'all, and and because he cheated on me, right? Well, I don't think a lot of y'all realize y'all are that destructive when you find out you're the number two priority behind his purpose. You do the very same things with these guys' dreams and aspirations. So it's destructive. And part of not being able to build in our culture is rooted in this in this particular action. Because um a lot of people don't realize how much destructive destruction they've caused until it's all over on the back end of it. Like I've dealt with women who had good relationships and they and they sabotaged them and when the guy moved on, this is the part of when you follow people on social media or they move on and you happen to see them out with a new woman, when their life and their lifestyle lines up with the success they told you they were having with their purpose, then you get upset because you, you figure that that woman is benefiting off the life and the lifestyle that I should have had, but that woman supported that man's purpose and you didn't. Or when you guys went you separate ways, he focused on his purpose and achieved them, and then that woman came along because she couldn't argue with the lifestyle it provided. And a lot of I know a lot of ladies who get upset because they feel like another woman is benefiting off of her work, but without taking into consideration the work she did in a relationship was to torpedo that man's dreams, aspirations, and purpose. Kind of like. That acrimony movie, that Tyler Perry movie. You see, after he achieved, and I'm not, I'm not the dude, the character. He was, you know, he had his ups and downs for sure. But I'm talking about the anger and angst and animosity that Taraji P Henson's character had for this man after he achieved his purpose, even after he provided her with very, with the compensation for him achieving his purpose. But it wasn't enough because she didn't want to, she wanted that life too. Even though he gave her the means to, to provide that life for herself. And the reason I said that because I was watching that, and I don't watch a lot of TV. I was watching Black Lightning and I, and I saw the overarching theme of every time the, 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 the women were portrayed in, in some ways always undermining uh, men's, dreams and purpose and undermining other men's dreams and not letting them make mistakes and bounce back to continue to um, pursue their purpose. And this thing about being loyal and showing loyalty and being down, it seems like you're down when you're put, when a man puts a woman number one in his life 
ahead of his purpose. You're not down when a man put it, puts his purpose first and then you second. And the irony of that is, you know, ladies want men to play second, third, fourth, fifth fiddle to everything besides their purpose. You know, the church come first. Your family comes first. Your kids come first. Your girlfriends come first. Um, and you have to, and, and your purpose might be after that man, but but you're not able to uh, understand that his purpose comes first and then you come after. You know, and, you, and then this ideology of, I want a man who submits to God first, but a man, when a man says he wants a woman to submit, she, in some ways what he's saying is, I need you to, to, to play the role of, of a woman who can facilitate um, me pursuing my purpose. You know, you, you can't get in the way of that. If I'm going out in the world and fulfilling my purpose, you, when I get back, it's your role to make, to, to make this situation uh, peaceful. And some of you ladies just having a very hard time with that. And, uh, and I think this is part of why so many women wind up single. Um, so, you know, I'm out on this one. Peace.